Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to one more game from Tata Steel Chess Tournament in Vegan Z 2020. Today around 12 and I would like to show you one of the games. Uh, an important news, uh, Magnus Carlsen just drew in this round and Fabiano Caruana won in this round. That means Fabiano Caruana is ahead one and a half points and only one round left to the end. That means... Uh, Fabiano Caruana is the winner of the tournament, so congratulations to Fabiano. And uh, this game uh, is maybe less important, but it's also uh, quite instructive uh, how the small things matter in the in the openings and how the very solid opening can uh, become the the trap somehow uh, even you are uh, you know grandmaster on the level 2700 uh, up so uh, as white daniel dubov uh, from russia 2683 and he is known as a, a very creative uh, player uh, not always his creativity works in his favor, but um, definitely it's always uh, nice to see uh, um, Daniel uh, play style. And as black, we have Yu Yang Yi from China, 2726. It's his actual ranking. And Yu Yang Yi actually is considered to one of the strongest Chinese players. And his ranking um, over 2700 is already uh, quite long. So he was expected to be uh, playing good in this tournament. However, he has one of the last uh, places and uh, it's not really a great tournament for him, but definitely still very strong opponent. So uh, without further ado, let's jump into the game. We have d4 by Dubov, d5, c4, c6, Slav defense on the board, knight f3, knight f6, knight c3, and e6. Um, so transposed to the semi-Slav defense and bishop g5. Uh, and here h6, mm, and that means uh, white has to decide what to do with this bishop and there are mostly played uh, bishop on h4 or taking the knight if bishop on h4 then we would have d on c4 that's the main line and e4 grabbing the space in the center now g5 if not then um, the pawn e pawn can be pushed bishop g3 b5 defending this c4 pawn and after bishop on e2 and bishop b7 uh, that's the structure white have to um, decide to play it's nothing wrong with that um, Veselin Topalov, Vladimir Kramnik, um, Anand uh, played that Anand played actually both sides uh, white and black so uh, everything is okay with this position but not everybody not in every situation in tournament would like to deal with this um, pawns on g uh, and h files so bishop on f6 is uh, also very popular line queen takes on f6 and e3 uh, knight d7 so uh, everything pretty standard bishop e2 and now we have some new move uh, I mean it's not new move but it's not often play bishop on b4 just a couple of games in the database and um, usually this bishop goes to uh, on e7 or maybe even more often on g7 in these structures and here we have the castle by white and castle by black queen c2 and here black probably could wait for a3 and then exchange for the knight if they want to exchange for the knight but yu yang yi just exchange without a3 and here we have queen on c3 so um actually this position was reached a couple of times and uh, b6 was played uh, in one by uh, white game or queen on e7 in drawish game so um, it's known position but uh, very rare uh, played and uh, and d on c4 was played by yu yang yi 
And here, for example, if bishop would take on c4, f of course b5 we would have, and it's also known game, uh, pretty standard for for semi-slav defense, and uh, nothing r really fancy would happen here. Queen c4 also could take an idea e5. E5 and C5 are the known ideas here to, to challenge this center of white because white sit very very comfortable with this pawn structure so black want to destroy it definitely so E5 uh, could be played and uh, for example rook F on D1 it, it actually was played uh, but here E on D4 was played but white have to consider also uh, e4 e4 and then after knight d2 queen g6 uh, black would have some counterplay on the, on the king side maybe in the center so uh, probably not very clear uh, how to approach that uh, but this pawn can be uh, very very you know painful for for white in some cases uh, so here Dubov decided to play rook f on d1 first uh, before approaching any any this uh, c5 on e5 and indeed c5 is on the board uh, also it was possible that b5 is played to defend that and then after b3 in these structures if the pawn on c4 is defended b3 is usually solving most of the problems and c takes on b3 uh queen c6 that would be really not uh, not great attacking the the rook so rook b1 eight takes on b3 and white stands quite well here uh, this pawn is attacked, uh, this pawn is attacked twice, so uh, not really an option. Interesting would be goes for e a5, and after b takes on c4, b4. Uh, that would be maybe interesting, queen e1, and c5 challenging this center, and probably white would have to play with some isolated pawn or maybe with the hanging pawns on uh, c and d while black would enjoy this um two pawns against one pawn on a2 so uh that would be interesting try definitely but as i said c5 was played it's more uh, often played in situations like that we have bishop takes on c4 a6 preparing b5 queen a3 so attacking the pawn on c5 twice uh, th there are some uh, deeper thoughts for example now uh, b5 can't be played because of uh, hanging rook on a8 so um, that's not possible b6 uh, only passive move is uh, possible here and now it's interesting d takes on c5 was the option and after knight c takes on c5 and rook d6 attacking this uh, pawn uh, bishop b7 uh, rook takes on b6 and now after bishop on f3 uh, queen could take on c5 and white actually could win the pawn uh, this way but Dubov had different idea bishop on b5 was played with the idea of bringing the bishop on this diagonal and that's pretty strong stuff so rook d8 uh defending bringing more defender to this um to this knight and bishop on c6 and here i think it's the most important uh, moment in the game uh, black have the option to play on a7 on b8 but which move actually would be would be better uh for example if rook is played on b8 uh, it's still the idea that the rooks can be can be connected uh, just need to find the way to um, activate the bishop so for example rook a on c1 a5 making a space for the bishop uh, queen d3 uh, not letting the bishop to come so it's like uh, war of the ideas uh, 
uh, knight f8 moving from the from this um, from this file and also d takes on c5 is impossible now uh, knight e5 is possible because now this knight is not controlling the e5 square uh, queen is seven and the game could continue um, both sides are, are okay probably uh, black are struggle a bit here uh, have to have to find a way to connect the rooks maybe exchange the bishop and 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 find some some way to play uh, if d takes on c5 uh, it's not really great this also gives nothing white have to exchange the the rooks or if not then um, black are able to exchange the bishops and everything would be fine for for black uh, however rook on a7 was played and it looks everything is fine with this move however uh, actually it's not it let uh, it looks like more active because now the the rooks can be doubled on some uh, file on d file or maybe on c file uh, but actually it's not possible d takes on c5 first knight takes on c5 and now we have queen on b4 attacking the uh, the pawn and and pawn cannot be pushed because it's also defending the knight on c5 so a knight goes back on d7 to def defend this uh, b6 pawn but position of black is is so passive now uh that that you cannot imagine that's how, how bad, bad is that this is this was only the difference between these two small moves and it already gives white a huge advantage queen on d6 making the position of black even more squeezed and now rook f8 rook f8 because there is not not really any other move uh, actually most of the pieces of black can't really move uh, their positions because for example if the knight moves somewhere then queen of course uh, win the rook so it's impossible uh, the bishop can't also be moved because if bishop is moved here the knight a5 is coming and uh, and same story losing this knight or losing the rook so uh, or exchange so not really an option uh, so actually rook and f8 is the the only move uh, possible or move some pawn maybe uh, rook d2 so dubov just uh, slowly going for the uh, for double the rooks and uh, and then just push forward and here we have knight on c5 uh, but it's very very difficult to find the move for 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 black uh, if we ask engine e5 uh, is recommended to exchange the the idea is to exchange the queens uh, but sacrifice this pawn so for example rook a on d1 and after exchanging the queens uh, we would have knight on c5 like before but now knight on e5 rook e7 attacking the knight but knight, knight actually can retreat uh, bishop g4 h3 bishop f3 bishop f3 maybe that would be the 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 easiest way possible but black would have to play without the pawn and, and already white has very active rook which can attack the the queen side so uh very uncomfortable still knight c5 however gives white the opportunity to take uh to go to b8 uh this move was maybe considered by dubov but he didn't go for that but let's see what would happen that's a very interesting move uh, so attacking the pawn and attacking the rook at the same time and it's uh difficult to do something about that if the rook is is moved and um, the pawn is taken then more material would fall so probably rook on b7 would be the best um, option and after bishop on b7 and bishop on b7 queen e5 could be played uh, to exchange uh, black would not exchange uh, definitely maybe knight e1 uh, to avoid exchanges here and black probably could uh, try to cement the the, the the position but it would be very very difficult still uh, even with this with these moves
knight e4, rook d4, knight g5, uh, with some, maybe some ideas, but uh, it, it's it's nothing actually here. So b5 and uh, white would stand just just much better with the exchange up. So. Uh, that was the interesting thing that in this position it's already the best option for for black which is which is totally just wrong but dubov didn't play a uh, queen on b8 in that position he played rook a to d1 uh, and he created some nice threat uh, for example if black plays something slow like a5 uh, then we would have Queen on f8, check, pretty impressive stuff. Uh, king takes on f8 and now rook d8, check. And if king moves, then of course it's checkmate here. Uh, so that's not possible. Queen has to take on d8 and after rook takes on d8, uh, king e7 and uh, rook takes on c8 and that's game over actually it's a minor piece up so very easy win for white so that was the the threat here uh, so after after that of course um, Yu Yang Yi don't like this idea so queen e7 he tried to exchange the queens now we have b4 by Dubov queen d6 so rook takes on d6 and knight b7 attacking the rooks on d6 so a rook from 6 rank uh, retreat to the second rank and now we have f6 so taking the um, the squares from the knight knight can't move of course h4 uh, and here for example if a5 is played that's the the strongest move recommended by the engine uh, then a3 would would happen and now e5 uh, so strength strengthening all this center but now h5 so h5 taking this spot to control and for example a takes on b4 a takes on b4 bishop g4 attacking this pawn and attacking also the uh, knight but uh, keep in mind that uh, this bishop is important to control the uh, second rank so it's actually not a threat to do something and then uh, white would have just a really great opportunity to get to the seventh rank uh, so king h2 for example bishop e6 still keeping an eye on uh, d7 knight h4 would be the idea uh, bishop b3 for example attack the the rook but now bishop d5 check so bishop could be exchanged and rook f on a8 let's say uh, black would like to uh, double the rooks and have some some fun also but rook d7 actually lock totally the position now this rook can't move anywhere uh because then the knight uh, is lost and knight can't be moved uh, as well because uh, this is controlled all of these squares are controlled so that's actually also not possible so black would actually stuck there uh, very un uncomfortable situation so h5 was played first and here we have bishop on e4 controlling h7 uh, so having some mating ideas on the eight ranks or at least try of course it's not happening now e5 consolidating the center and now rook on c1 so moving the rooks to the uh, to the c file as it's not controlled like the uh, d file because uh, d7 is controlled by the bishop so on c file rook would be uh, much happier rook a8 so uh, yu yang yi just moving the rook back to the uh, eighth rank uh, so this is why this rook should be there already and it would uh, black wouldn't have so many problems and now we have rook on c6 attacking this pawn b5 and rook on b6 now this knight is pinned so it's double attack uh, so it can be taken uh, and here king on h8 was played uh, and now actually if white take I, white could take it and after rook on b8 just uh, pick the bishop and enjoy the um, two minor pieces for the rook endgame 
and that would be winning for white but uh, but dubov had different idea probably much easier so he just play rook on c2 and now he's uh, threatening even even stronger uh, attack on uh, b7 rook f7 by black so bringing reinforcement to uh, control these two important squares uh, but actually in this position dubov found uh, some move which uh, it, it, it's not so visible so feel free to pause the video and uh, find the winning idea for white while I enjoy my cup of tea okay ready so a lot of ideas of course uh, winning here uh, you can move the the knight and and slowly get uh, you know minor piece up or maybe you can uh, get the rook on the c file and attack the the bishop or attack the seventh rank that's all winning ideas but rook takes on a6 is the move if you found it then congratulations yu yang yi just resigned the game and he, he just have no will to play anymore so so for example of course if he takes then rook takes on c8 uh, and then it's checkmate of course uh, it's nothing can be done so uh, it's just checkmate so that would be the idea and rook b8 also could be played but then uh, rook b6 rook e7 there is there is there is no other move so rook b5 bishop e6 and uh, and white just winning with the extra two pawns so that was not like checkmate or winning the piece but winning two pawns is totally enough in this position to just win the game so uh yu yang yi just resign after rook takes on a6 so congratulations to daniel dubov for another creative game this time not tactical but you know squeezing the enemy uh in this style is is also quite impressive so um, now he felt much better than uh, he could do in uh, the game against fabiano caruana now he was you know in church and uh, he could show like um, he's really dangerous opponent so uh yeah thanks for watching and if you like this video please press like if you don't like this video please press unlike and uh, leave the comment i would like to hear from you and of course uh if you like my content if you like my style of commentary just subscribe thanks for watching and see you in the next one